All right, fashion frame. Fashion frame is a thing in Warframe. And if you haven't guessed what it is, it's by making yourself look good in the game. And it's something that I've been getting into. I hear that it's quite a culture in the game. So this is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna go through all the different characters or Warframes that I have, and I'm gonna go through them one by one to see how I did my fashion frame as an early game baby Tenno, if you wanna call it that, or maybe even, I don't know, a noob, newbie? I have basically no knowledge of the game. I've got like 30 hours in the game. It's not a lot, all right? I'm gonna take everything that I got from my subscribers, from my viewers and stuff, which is a lot. Like I, I do hear some of the like cosmetic stuff that I've been getting as gifts are actually quite expensive. So thank you so much once again for everybody that uh, kind of pitches in to just send me random stuff. So th that's pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. Let's go over what Warframes I actually have. I have about 30 hours in the game, which means I don't have a lot. Like I, don't, I haven't really done anything. I haven't really even gotten to Deimos or Deimos, Deimos. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Either way, the Warframes that I have is obviously Excalibur. I started with Excalibur. I've got Vault. I've got Mag. And then I just, just last night, got Rhino. So I've got those four Warframes and those are the ones that I actually kind of customized. I'm gonna rate my Warframes when I actually have gone through them and then I want you guys to go down in the comment section and rate them with me. So if I do, let's say Excalibur preset A, then I want you to write in the comments Excalibur preset A and then your rating out of 10. So that's literally all you have to do if you wanna play along. But for now, let's actually get into it. Let's actually start. I am heavily excited. Fashion Frame. It's a thing. All right, getting into my arsenal, you will see Excalibur, right? This is the default Excalibur as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't look anything special, but you will also notice that we are on the B preset of our Excalibur. And that is because on the A preset, I already have my finished made kind of Excalibur, right? So yeah, th this is Excalibur before I started anything. Now, if I go over to the A preset, so it seems like I only made one, by the way. If I go over to the A preset, you will see that I have what I would like to call the Ice Wolf Excalibur. Or maybe even the Ice Wing Excalibur, I don't know. Either way, this is how it looks. Hold your horses before you, you know, start typing in the in the comments. This is a 1 out of 10 or this is a 9 out of 10. You have to hear the story behind it. This was the first Warframe that I actually wanted to, uh, I don't know, customize or kind of go into the fashion frame of things. And I had a very cool, or have actually a very cool subscriber slash... Uh, one army member he regularly sends me a lot of customization things and this was the beginning of that he kind of sent me the wing he sent me the like you know the cyandana he sent me the actual outfit and some of the other stuff that you actually see on this character and this is my first attempt now there's a reason my excalibur looks like this my friend albert has the exact same outfit he has the exact same build for excalibur but the difference is his is black and red it does differ just a little bit but i like overall his is black and red mine is white and blue so when we play together we play the duo it kind of looks like you know we're playing i don't know like yin and yang you know it's it's like the perfect duo so this excalibur was made for that specific reason now i'm calling this the ice wing excalibur that is it i want to say i give this excalibur a solid i want to say like I give this Excalibur a solid 6 out of 10 because it is my first attempt. It's obviously not that good, but it does kind of like come together color wise at least. So it looks it looks nice. It looks neat ish. All right. Anyway, this is my Excalibur. Let me know what you think, what your rating is out of 10. Moving on, we have Vault. But for Vault, I did two different presets. Now, the first preset is what I like to call I don't know, Gag Vault. It's like, it's like a character that just, it's out there. It's like, I don't know, it's it's a clown of the family, right? Any case, Dragon Skin Vault. Here we go. This is Dragon Skin Vault. He is kind of the champion. He is the people's warrior, right? He likes to stand out, be the center of attention, and make sure that everybody has their eyes on him when he is fast as 
I rate this a solid 5 out of 10. It's not bad, but it's definitely not that good. It's just a very basic looking vault for the purpose of being, you know, the champion version of vault. The other one that I actually play with, I call him King Vault because he is the king of the underworld or some shit like that. So this is King Vault, a little bit more customized. A little bit more on the fiery side of things as you can see i love the how like how the i don't know the electricity goes out of his horns and throughout his body it just it looks absolutely fantastic i like how the color scheme the white the oranges the yellows and the blacks kind of just come together to make this very very rad looking vault right here now for king vault i want to say this for me at least is a solid 8 out of 10 at the point where I am right now, you have to keep in mind, I have 30 hours in the game. I don't, I don't have a lot of time in the game, so I don't have a lot of like knowledge of how other Warframes look like. I haven't really even checked it out. But for now, this, for me at least, is a solid 8 out of 10. Simplistic, yet very, very good looking. Then we have to move on. The next one would be none other than Mag. Now with Mag, I only did one preset, but still... It is the best preset that I could have done with Mag. I did a lot of like, I went through a lot of trouble with Mag to, to, to just make sure that I have the best and perfect Mag that I can have. Now, I have to put it out there. I'm not a very big Mag fan. I mean, the, the, the abilities, it's fine. It works the way at it, as it is intended, but it's not my playstyle. I have to say, so far at least, I like Vault quite a lot i like the speed i like the actual abilities and what it does to your character as well as the people around me and then also i like excalibur because excalibur feels like a very a baseline he is the hero's hero kind of situation where everything feels like it's just put into damage right so that's kind of the two characters that i like the most so far rhino also has very very unique and cool abilities but it's also very I want to say niche and use case where I would use Rhino because for for most of the time I want to say Vault would be for me at least the best one to choose out of all of them maybe but also I have a very limited mindset when it comes to the actual Warframe so with that being said let's actually jump into the mag I don't know what to call her I want to say Cosmic Mag because that's the only thing that actually pops up in my head when I think about it right now now Let's go. Boom. Cosmic Mag. Actually, you know what? I'm changing that. This is Emerald Mag. I love this. This just looks really, really good to me. Really clean, really nice. Like everything fits together. Everything is flowing. Just it's absolutely fantastic. This makes me want to play with this character. This looks good. <laughs> Actually, really, really good. For well, this mag, Emerald Mag, I'm giving it a solid another 8 out of 10 customize-wise, you know? For like like fashion frame-wise. I want to say this is a solid 8 out of 10. For me at least. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm gonna turn around one time more. You have a good looking sign down at the back. Obviously using the Dex Akana as my trusty, trusty sword. But yeah, this is a solid 8 out of 10. Let me know what you think. And then last but not least, we have none other than Rhino. For Rhino, I also did two presets. One is the first attempt that I made with Rhino. And then the second one is where the same YouTube member slash subscriber or fan sent me some i don't know customization stuff some some cosmetic stuff for rhino you know new skins and stuff like that so without further ado this is the first attempt of rhino we'll, we'll figure out a name as we get to it right oh yeah i remember this one now this is what i call chainmail rhino this is the knight in shining armor if you will the good guy the guy that actually defends the tower right this is the the ultimate titan to get through if you want to get to the main boss actually you know what let's change his name right from chainmail rhino to titan rhino this looks really clean the colors all fit 
perfectly with each other. The brown, the different variations of brown, the orange like lava lighting kind of signifying, I don't know, strength in him. And then we have obviously the chain mail that kind of gives you the impression that you know what this thing is going to be hard to penetrate this thing is going to be hard to kill right this is knight in shining armor titan rhino fashion frame wise this has been my favorite one so far i'm giving him a 9 out of 10 it just it looks so good as a character and as a very specifically designed character it doesn't look too over encumbered it just looks perfect to me and then last we have none under the beast mode rhino boom guys this is beast mode rhino with the rhino palantine or palantine skin i mean this thing looks like a monster this thing looks like it can just claw its way through any darkness it can claw its way through any enemy and it's gonna go on and won't stop no matter what even though this looks sick as hell like, I love how this looks. I'm popping that down to a 7 out of 10 just because it isn't as good as the other one for me. I mean, it still looks absolutely fantastic. This thing looks shredded. Beautiful on all accounts. But for now, this is basically, this is basically it. Now, I want to do some more changes in the very near future. It's probably going to be in the next stream, right? Because... I got a lot new colors. I got a lot of new colors. Like I've got a, a bunch of fire type colors and I've got the like grenier colors or the infested colors and the ice colors. Like I can do a lot of customization now, which I will be doing in the next stream. So if you don't want to miss that, obviously be sure to be at those streams because it's going to be really, really fun. And I do take a lot of your guys input. If you want to see something, we make something work, right? So there's still a lot of things we can do in this game. I have to do the whole ship because as you can see, there's nothing going on here. And with time, obviously, you know, obviously it's going to change. But for now, there's literally nothing going on here. So I'm going to need your help to actually be able to do that. Do you actually think that I did fashion frame any justice if you did or do? Let me know in the comment section down below. Actually remember to give your ratings because that's going to matter quite a lot as to what I'm going to be using in the future. So be sure to actually give your rating on every single skin or, I don't know, frame that I have fashioned, if you, if you will, so please. And if you enjoyed this video and enjoy videos like this, obviously subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be creating a lot of Warframe content in the very near future. I've got shorts coming out like every other day. I've got live streams like three times a week, just Warframe and obviously Warframe videos popping up every now and again. And there's going to be some fun things popping up in the very near future. Not just Warframe, but mostly Warframe, obviously. And then I can't wait to play Warframe 1999. Like, I want to really get my hands on that game. It looks like something that I would enjoy tremendously. So if you don't want to, like, miss out on that, stay tuned, stay subscribed, like the video. And with that being said, I've got one question for all of you. Do you want to play?